All right, I'm the Fly Rate Master, and today we're comparing the Astro Pneumatic part number 78825 wheel bearing set to the OTC Hub Grappler. Tools for installing press in wheel bearings on the car. This Astro set I paid for, the OTC set I paid for. Now, I bought this set to review, and unfortunately, I'm sorry, I don't have any video of it being used, unfortunately, because I got a car sitting over there that needs a wheel bearing, but they haven't approved it, so I've been trying to do this review for a while, but, you know, when you buy a new tool, certain jobs tend to dry up for some reason, so I haven't actually been able to have a vehicle here to demonstrate it, so I'll show some B-roll of when I demoed the OTC hub grappler in another video and it works identical to that. The, the only thing about this kit is it does not have a way to remove the hub. The OTC kit has a way to extract the hub so this kit does not. Now I generally do not use the hub grappler that way. I generally use a slide hammer to pull the hub out and then air hammer out the remnants of the wheel bearing and then press in the new one with the tool. So what you do is you set these two arms against the hub and a smaller adapter behind the hub so it pulls it out. And there's my warranty. But you can use the tool to, on both kinds, to pull the bearing out. Just you cannot use this kit. It doesn't have a provision to pull the hub out. So big difference there. Another big difference is the amount of adapters. This is one, something that I ran into a little bit using it is the OTC kit had a adapter that fit the situation a little bit better. Now I do keep a brass hammer for situations where it's kind of going a little cockeyed. You can tap it and get it moving right. And then we go press it. Oops. Helps you change the uh, preset on the gun. And that's as hard as it is. Of course, very important, don't forget your snap ring. Now for me and George, I don't have rust, so I don't have to worry about on this car, by the way. On this car, I don't have to worry about cleaning out the snap ring groove or anything like that. Now, when we do the hub, it's basically the same way, except you want to support the back race of the bearing. Now, I'm going to point out that these, I, it uses a 
tone ring on the CV axle, not a magnetic strip. Now, if you're using a bearing with a magnetic strip, one will be silver in color, the other one will be some other color. That's the one with magnetic strip. Make sure you put it in right because it sucks to have to press it back out. Now, I should note, it comes with a manual to tell you what adapters to use. But I find, you know, you've done it a few times, you figure it out. So now on this hub, it's got a cup on it with kind of a lip to allow you to kind of center it on the hub itself. Or you can just use a regular one like this and press it in. Now just like with the bearing, I put a little bit of fluid film on it just to, you know, not golf. And it's a matter of just hitting it till the tone changes. So that is something to be aware of. You may run into a situation where you don't have the right size adapter for what you're doing and you may have to improvise or use a less optimal adapter, which is what I did. I went ahead and used the Astro Kit. It worked fine. It just, I'd rather have a larger base on that particular bearing, but the spacing I had was smaller than I'd like or, well, too big. So that's a big difference between the two of them is the amount of adapters you get. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sit here and count them. If I feel like it, I'll go count them later, but there is a rather large difference in adapters. Now the coarse thread forcing screw that Astro uses has been fine haven't had any trouble out of it whatsoever. Now they don't have any sort of bearing, whereas the OTC uses a cone-shaped bearing, two-piece bearing that allows it to, to, to rotate, put a little gear oil on there. It seems to work fine. I've only had to replace that those washers once. Um, I have had to replace my forcing screw on the OTC once but that was when everybody in the shop was using it and I kind of think somebody in the shop actually messed it up, but I've got a spare forcing screw for it. But again, I have not had any trouble out of the Astro. It's been used multiple times in the shop by me and other technicians because I've wanted this, this tool to get used so I can do a video on it. You know, <laughs> that was the whole point. Bought it so I could do a video on it. Overall, it's definitely a good kit if you wanted to get into doing bearings on the car a lot easier. But you do have to have a slide hammer kit. Just keep that in mind because if you don't have a slide hammer kit, it's not going to do you a whole lot of good because you're going to have to figure out how to get the hub out, which means you're probably going to the press if you don't have a slide hammer. Now, again, that is my go-to method. I take a slide hammer and slide it out. You know, hammer it, slide it out. So just something to keep in mind is you are paying significantly less for this kit and it does work as designed, but you do lose the ability to pull hubs. So if you use that part of a hub grappler, you will lose that and you may run into a situation where you don't have just the right adapter. So overall, well worth the money. Uh, I will of course put links to a OTC slide hammer and this kit and the OTC hub grappler. And I'll put those links in a pinned comment if you wanna help support the channel. 
but definitely well worth picking up either kit. Own the Hub Grappler for seven years. I have no complaints on it whatsoever. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Some, you know, I've gotten, had to warranty the forcing screw once, bought a spare one just in case, and had to replace the washer setup once. So both are good kits, so both will serve you well. Just, you know, pick your poison on what you want to pay and how many adapters you want. Side note, these can be used as press adapters on a press too. Just make sure and go bigger than the hole so you don't wallow out the hole. Other than that, can't complain about these two kits at all. Solid kit. So, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.